All right, there it is. Look at that smoked turkey done with the Pit Boss Pellet Grill Smoker. That's right, you just saw the ending of my smoked turkey. Stick around, I'm gonna show you how to, I did it with my Pit Boss Pellet Smoker. Gobble, gobble everybody. Me, Uncle Frankie, Cisco. I got so many names. Look at that beautiful turkey, organic turkey. Costs more than a small car nowadays. Actually, wasn't that bad. Three bucks a pound versus a standard one dollar a pound. So, not a bad deal. Anyways, uh, I brined it. So, that's my brine right there. Take a look at that stuff. My brine is real simple. I'll post it on this website. Um, it is orange juice, it is apple juice, it is garlic, salt, uh, of course, brown sugar, and then I put that poultry seasoning. Anyways, uh, put that in there. It sits in there for at least 24 hours. You got to keep it super, super, super cold. Now, another little trick after I take out the turkey, the brine is still good. Again, it has to be ice cold. Like, stick your hand in it, it hurts because it's so cold, okay? Put a bunch of drumsticks in there, and you can have those the next day. Smoke some drumsticks, okay? Again, make sure you wash your hands thoroughly, continuously through the entire process, clean everything off like crazy. Make sure that does not get contaminated, or else you get salmonella and you die a painful death. Okay, stick around. I'm gonna smoke this guy in my pit master. Uh, 5,000 or whatever number it is. Anyways, no, it's my Pit Boss uh, Vertical Smoker. You'll see that next. Stay tuned. Oh, hey, hit like, please. I appreciate the love. Thanks. All right. Hello again. So, this is my Pit Boss Pro Series Vertical Smoker. Um, mine is about four years old. There's newer models of this now. Um, I think they have some of the controls on the side but mine is about three or four years old so far I, I like it I like the the point of being able to set it and forget it uh, it actually is quite versatile I've been able to use this guy as a grill believe it or not let the sun it's early morning here which is when you should start smoking your briskets or turkey uh, or large meats uh, anyways it's got the little hot box down there you can actually put in different rack levels here and uh, you can actually uh, put a at the lowest level as you can see I removed the little box and there's a shield all that stuff I swear to God it it removes the smoke ability to penetrate the meat so I got rid of it so it's kind of an open smoke pit there right now I just turn it on so I'm waiting for it to start smoking the most smoke starts coming out in the beginning you can start seeing it bellowing now that's when you want to put your meat in by the way so you have a very very cold meat you have a warm fire with a lot of smoke that first half hour it penetrates the meat like crazy and that's when you get that really nice flavor i know for everybody typically brisket is the the coup de gras for me it's turkey believe it or not i've gotten really good at brining uh, my turkeys and they come out super delicious and juicy and I love turkey because off season you can buy turkey for like a dollar a pound. So it's a very delicious protein you can eat all year round. You know, you don't have to wait for Christmas or Thanksgiving. You can eat right now, it's the middle of freaking summer. It's hot as all heck. Matter of fact, it's my birthday. So, one of the things uh, maybe you knew I've already been doing, I have started using like a cast iron pan and I put beans and sausage, a little bit of salsa. And I set that right over the fire pit like that. So it catches the drippings and also I don't get direct heat onto whatever meat I'm cooking and burn it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and set my my turkey in there. I set it to smoke because it just came out of the fridge, so it's super cold. So as you know, when meat is super cold, it soaks up that smoke flavor. So I'm gonna get this in the smoker. Oh, there she is. I got a rotator. You see she's over open flame. I put the boob side down. Stick around. No cheating. You gotta wait till the watch the whole video. Please hit like. 
I appreciate the thumbs up. Okay, so let me open this guy up. So there you go. See the setup I got going on there? And, uh, oh, I went ahead and put the liver, heart, lungs, spleen, whatever the heck it is they give you. I put them up there too. I put them in the brine, by the way. So now this makes a tasty little treat. We're going to eat these up with some eggs, have a little snack. And I'm telling you, man, doesn't you can put shoe leather in that brine and it tastes good. So look at that, it's just starting to brown up real nice. Got my temperature probe in there. And uh, I'm gonna look for about 165 degrees internal temperature before I take the turkey out and place it in a cooler. All right, well, it only took four hours, believe it or not. This was an 18 pound turkey. Um, as I said, this first hour was around 175, 150. And then after that, I set the temperature to 250 degrees. And mostly try to keep the door closed, except for when I had to rotate the turkey. And uh, it is cooked in about four hours, maybe five hours tops. So the pellet smoker, that's one thing it does. It, it maintains temperatures so well. It's like an oven and you know but it has that smoke flavor so it's really nice okay so it's now reached 165 degrees and let's take a look at that turkey oh yeah look at that it's got a nice golden crust on it some of the wings are now so i mean if you don't like nice charred wings and the charred ends of the of the legs uh you can certainly cover them up with aluminum foil or cut them off and cook them separately uh, perfectly fine also man it smells so good I wish you had smell of vision so I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put it inside of my cooler and let it sit there for about half an hour to one hour okay turkey is in my cooler and here's that pan like I said now so this will be a collection of the juice the water and drippings from the turkey it smells good so uh you know run it through a strainer if you want to and keep some of it it's certainly good if you want to use it for uh you know turkey broth type of thing for either a soup or or if you want to make a gravy with it it's uh, excellent stuff all right smoked turkey's ready it's been in the cooler for about an hour and a half because our daughter decided to sleep late look at that you come uh, in in the morning <laughs> yeah look at those juices Oh yeah, look at that. Mm mm mm. Okay. So that uh, juice and make a turkey soup later on. Oh, look at that, look at that. Okay, so am I ready? Ready for the money shot? It's the money shot. Okay, let's cut the down along the breast line here. Oh my god, it's gonna be good. Look at those bad juices right there. Oh man, look at that. Look at how juicy that is. Oh yeah. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna destroy it because everybody likes the skin. One of the daughters always comes over here and sneaks on the skin and I'm gonna taste that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Money scene, here we go, ready? Mmm. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>